What's up, savages? Welcome to Blender Savage. All right. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a top hat. So top hat is a cylindrical shape. So let's get rid of this cube right here. X or delete key. Bam. Now I'm gonna bring in a mesh cylinder. So Shift A brings up the Add menu, Mesh, Cylinder, Cylinder, Cylinder. There we go. Bam. One on the number pad for front view. Five for ortho. There we go. Remember, always have the um, number lock on on the number pad when using Blender. Tab key for edit mode. Z for wireframe. A to deselect. There we go. So uh, let's make the top of the hat. So I'm going to border select the top here. Hit the B key. Left click hold and drag across the top. There we go. Release. And I'm going to pull this up. So I'm going to hit G for grab. And then G to pull along the Z axis. And I'll pull it up by uh, half a Blender unit. So 0.5. Enter. There we go. And I'm going to make the brim of the hat. A to deselect. B for border select, move my mouse over here, hold down the left mouse button and drag across. Bam, so I just selected the bottom of the cylinder. And I'm gonna scale that out. E, S, two, enter, there we go, there's my brim. It's really flat, so we're gonna thicken it up a little bit. E, Z, for the Z axis, let's see, oops, I see Z, there we go. It was already snapped to the Z. All right, and let's go by uh, 0.1 blender units. Ooh, the other way, so let's, I can actually just move the mouse down. Oh, actually, I already committed to that. Uh-oh. Let me, let me undo. Control Z. Oh, there we go. Cool. I'm going to leave it right there. Enter. So, uh, E, Z, point one enter. Should go down. If it goes up, you're going to have to uh, hit a negative. You're going to do E, Z, negative, point one enter. There we go. So there's my brim. Nice and 3D. I don't want the bottom of it to be all flat. Let's see. Solid view. You gotta make the hole in there for the inside of the, the hat, or else you're supposed to stick your head in, right? So Z for wireframe. I'm at E and S. I'm gonna scale inward. So E to extrude, S for scale, so I can scale down my extrusion. I'm just gonna eyeball this. I want the edge of the uh, the yellow to be inside of the hat, inside here. See, I want this to be inside of that, not outside of it. Cause we're gonna we're gonna make this. We're gonna punch a hole through there. See? All right, Z for wireframe. E to extrude and just pull the mouse up. If it uh, wiggles around like this, hit the Z key, snaps to the Z axis. That looks good right there. Left click. Z for solid view. Cool. Check out the inside. If it, there's a there's a hole in there, just hit F for fill. It'll fill in a face in there. One for front view. Yeah, that's good. All right. So usually a uh, top hats have a a little band around here. So we're gonna add that in there. So I'm gonna. Make sure in solid view, hit A to deselect, because uh, I have that selection inside of there still selected. All right, so I'm gonna hover over the uh, one of the sides on the cylinder. The control R, create loop cut, so you got the little pink line. I'm gonna left click once, then move my mouse down, and I wanna cut around there. I mean a little higher. Left click there, there we go. I just cut, it just added an edge cut right, right there. A loop cut, see? Went for front view again. I'm gonna select that. And I'm gonna extrude it out. So I'm gonna go to face selection here, hold down the alternate key, and then right click one of the vertical edges on your band. And you can get a loop selection, see? And I'm gonna extrude that out. E S 1.05, enter. So just a tad, just a little bit, see? And now I'm gonna separate this from the rest of the hat. I want I want this to be a separate object. So I'm at the eight key once or twice twice maybe three times so i can see the inside here because i want to select that too so i already did a edge selection there a loop selection and i'm gonna hold on alternate and shift so i can multi loop select and select one of these little small lines right there oops didn't get it oh man Let's see control z control z all right let me just get in closer in there make it bigger alternate shift right click that one there we go got it so i got that whole the whole band there now I'm going to separate this from the rest of the hat. I'm going to make it a separate object because right now it's part of that cylinder. So I'm going to separate it. So I'm at P. And then select selection. Boom. See? It doesn't have those faces on there anymore. It's a whole separate object. Can't select it anymore. All right. So I'm going to color my hat. So I'm going to go over here to materials, properties panel. Let's widen this up. It's a materials logo, materials icon. Go to new. Make a black hat. Go to materials. Call this black. Going here on the side, the white round the rectangle below the fuse, and just bring the value all the way down. Get a black material, 
And let's change Lambert over to uh, Minort. There we go. I'm gonna head over back to object mode. All right, so there's my hat. If you want, you can leave it like this, but it doesn't look very round. So to smooth it out, I'm gonna use a modifier. So I'm gonna go to here to the uh, modifier. So like the uh, subdivision surface modifier. So click on the wrench, click on add modifier, and subdivision surface modifier. Boom, I got a fireman hat, that looks horrible. So I'm gonna go to view and just reduce that to zero. There we go. Render at two looks good. And I'm gonna leave that there just in case I need to change something. This I'm gonna right click the band. I'm gonna color the band, I'm gonna make this white. So I'm gonna go to materials, new, call this material white. And right here diffuse, leave that in the center, bring up the value, bring up the intensity all the way up. And for the specular, bring the intensity all the way up. Also change this to uh, Minoart. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. I think it's French, Francois. All right, now I'm gonna add a, a modifier to my band here as well. I'm going to add modifier, add modifier, subdivision surface, smooth this out, change view, I'm going to go up, three, four, let's go with four. There we go. All right, I'm going to go back over to rendered view, see how that looks. All right, looks pretty smooth. We're in the shadows. Let's go over here to solid view, select my lamp. There's my lamp, right click it. I'm going to go over here to the lamp settings, lamp data, change it to sun. Seven for top view, change the energy. Let's go up to five, see how that looks. We can see our hat better. And let me get this view here from behind the sun. Rendered. How's that look? And hey, maybe the sun is too bright. Let's change it back to one. There we go. Let's change it back to five. I'll just add another another sun source. But there's our hat. Looks uh, nice and velvety. Shift D, move this over. R for rotate. Doing this in top view. And go over to render. Boom. So you have it, folks. Pretty cool little top hat. Oh, you know what? Still not that smooth. Let me select the hat. Go to modifier here. Let's go to rendered. Bring this up. Are you rendering? Render, render. All right, looks a little neater. And that's how you model a top hat. Thank you for watching, guys. A like, a subscribe comment, a share, anything helps. Have an awesome day.